my name's Claire. This is my travel channel, Claire's Footsteps, and today we're gonna talk all about buses in Malta. So I was recently in Malta twice. I went to Malta and then went to Egypt and then went back to Malta, um, had a few different work trips and related stuff. So I spent quite a bit of time in Malta, but on, only on my second trip did I realise that Malta actually has a very efficient bus system. So I thought I'd make this video just to talk a little bit about Malta's bus service, what it entails and how to use it just to help any travellers who are going to Malta and are wanting to find a way to get around on the cheap. So Malta's bus network pretty much goes anywhere on the island. There is a hub in Valletta, the capital, but you can pretty much get buses from Valletta to destinations all over from Salima to St Julian's to Dingley Cliffs to the Blue Grotto. Not absolutely everywhere is connected, but you'll find that most places are. And one of the main reasons to get the bus in Malta is it is very cheap. We also used Bolt a lot in Malta, which works so well. We literally would order Bolts and they would arrive within minutes or less than minutes sometimes. I think once I ordered Bolt on my phone and the Bolt was there, like it was like the next car back and they just accepted it and were there. So there are a lot of bolts, um, so it is very easy to use that as a form of transportation, but it does add up. It does get fairly expensive. Um, not like the odd journey here and there is quite affordable, but obviously if you're using bolt all the time to get all over the island, it can add up. So a great alternative is to use the public bus network. So on my last day in Malta, I was there on my own because my boyfriend had to go um, back to the UK a couple of days before me. So I did a little solo adventure day and I decided to get the bus from where I was staying in Salima to Dingley Cliffs, then do a hike to the Blue Grotto and then get the buses back. And I managed to do it all by bus and it only cost me four euros for the entire day. So if you are looking for a budget friendly way to see the island, then that is how you do it. <laughs> So we've been taking Bolt around everywhere and it works really, really well in Malta. But um, because I'm on my own, um, obviously if I got a Bolt to the other side of the island and then a Bolt back, it would work out quite expensive. So I'm just looking at Bolt now. Yeah, so it's 20.9 um, euros to get to where I want to go. Um, so I'm not gonna do that because that would be 40 euros there and back. And instead I'm gonna try and take a two euro bus. So that saves quite a lot of money. Um, so I've just been looking at how to do it at the moment. Apparently, I can use my contactless card on buses. However, I've been looking at routes to get to Dingley Cliff. So I'm staying in Salima, which is on the north side of the island, close to Valletta, but it's like they're both on peninsulas. But to get from here to Dingley Cliff, on the bus, it's saying an hour and 35 minutes on the bus. It's saying an hour and 35 minutes on the bus, and it's saying a 12 minute drive. There's loads of options basically. But what I found, I had a little look around earlier at different things, and I found if I walk to a place called Karina Convenience Store, which is a 27 minute walk away. Ah, okay. So at 9.24 a.m. there is a bus leaving the Karina Convenience Store that goes straight to Dingley Cliffs. It's an hour long bus actually. But I'd rather do that and then I can um, just relax on the bus. So basically I have to walk for 27 minutes, then I have to get on this bus that it takes me to the other side of the island and then I have to walk a little bit more. So it does take a bit more, more time, but it is a lot cheaper and I can like do some work and stuff on the bus so I don't mind it too much. All right, I'm on the bus. Um, I was actually just about to give up and get on another bus and get like two, three different buses to get to Dinkley Cliffs because it was quite late. And I was a little bit concerned I missed it because um, when I arrived at the bus stop, it said it was scheduled two minutes earlier than it said on Google. Although I did, I was sort of the other side of the road two minutes before and I didn't see it go past. Um, but yeah, I was a little bit concerned I missed it, but um, it appeared that I didn't and it was just a bit late. So on the 56 bus down and it takes about an hour but it is correct. So using the 
buses in Malta is really simple. You literally just get on, ask for a ticket to wherever you're going, and then just pay with your contactless card. I did see some reports online saying that they only accepted Visa cards, but in my experience, MasterCard worked fine as well. So literally, used it to get on, got the ticket. One important thing to remember is that the tickets are valid for two hours from when you get them. So that means that you can use them on any other bus within that space of two hours. On the ticket it will just say a time when they expire and you can use it on any bus up until then. So that means you can use it for if you're changing buses, um, it also means you can use it for a return journey if your return journey is less than two hours later. So for me, that meant that even though I needed to change buses on the way back in Valletta, I only have to pay for one ticket. If you're making lots of journeys by bus in Malta, then you can purchase travel cards, which are valid for a number of journeys or a set period of time. And normally they offer better value than if you're going to buy the tickets just when you get on the bus. Now, at the moment, I'm just on the website and it's not working for some reason, so I can't see exactly how much it costs. I'll leave the website in the description so you can have a look at that if you want to buy bundles of tickets or a card or something. But the options are you can get a seven-day Explorer card for adults or children. This gives you unlimited travel for seven days anywhere on the Maltese public transport. Or you can get a 12-journey card which is good for 12 journeys and it can be split between groups so for example if there are four of you and you have a 12 journeys card you can all use the same card and it will work for three journeys so those are some other ways to use the public transport which are great if you're planning on making more journeys or spending more days on the Maltese public transport system and that can help you save even more money. Of course if you don't want to use the buses to get around Malta there are plenty of other transport options available. I recommended Bolt which does work really well. I just found by the end of my trip it started adding up quite a lot which is why I wanted to go and try out the buses. Another option is Uber, which I didn't actually try while I was there, but apparently that works quite well. And of course you can hire a car too. If you're hiring a car in Malta, remember that they drive on the left, which is the same as the UK um, and places like India, Australia and New Zealand but it is different from the rest of Europe and the US. Also, I do have to warn you about the traffic in Malta. It is pretty wild. It's, uh, the driving is, is fine, but the traffic is standstill a lot of the time. So if you are self-driving, just be aware of that. But generally, I think that the buses are a really good way to get around Malta. They're very economical and, you know, they're more sustainable and they help you see a different side of Maltese life. So I definitely recommend giving them a try when you're in Malta. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully it's inspired you to try out the Maltese public transport network when you're on holiday in the island. Do take a look at all of my other Malta videos for more inspiration. I'm going to be uploading the vlog of when I used the buses and went to the Dingley Cliffs and walk to the Blue Grotto um, this weekend. So do watch out for that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.